respect to elders both past, present and emerging. Citizenship ceremonies are special occasions for recipients as well as for our community. I consider it a privilege to congratulate and welcome the newest members of our Australian family right here today. Becoming an Australian is a great blessing. Millions of people across the world dream about this gift that is about to become yours. Australia is a country that offers so much, like freedom of speech, education and health, and most of all, an opportunity to succeed the chance to be safe and contribute to the community. Can I acknowledge our councillors here today, Councillor Chris Cahill and Councillor Barbara Curie. Thank you for joining today, councillors. Canterbury Bankstown is one of the most unique and exciting cities in the nation. You have chosen a great place to call home. Our city, is a melting pot of cultures where residents from over 120 languages live harmoniously embracing the true essence of multiculturalism. Just like you, many of our residents have faced their fair share of challenges while adapting to life in Australia. The great news, however, is that Canterbury Bankstown has so many immigrant success stories, including my family who came here from Lebanon filled with hope for a better future. I am inspired by, by the love they have given to this country and the country has given them. It made their dreams come true and it made, them who we are, made us who we are today. One of their dreams was to see their kid do well and here I am today, less than two weeks in the job, mayor of one of the largest cities in the country. Each and every one of you has their own story. How you arrived and why you came here. I too have my own story I would like to share with you. I came to this country with my family when I was just 12 years old. A young kid who couldn't speak a word of English, it was pretty scary, leaving behind a lot of family and friends who I grew up with. I think the only couple of words that I knew were hello and goodbye. My late father enrolled me in an intensive English school so I could learn the language and it wasn't long after I began going to school. I attended several high schools and finished up at the Australian International Academy in Stratfield. I wouldn't say that I was the smartest person at school, but I did try and, and I knew that I wanted to, what I wanted to achieve in life. I wanted to serve the community and help others. I did a lot of volunteer work. My passion has always been to help those who have no voice, the needy and disadvantaged. I have served for almost 10 years working for the PCYC doing youth and family programs. For many of you here today, my message is simple. Work hard and give back to the community. You'll be rewarded. You'll be rewarded in many, many other ways that you probably won't see. And my message to young people and young kids is dream high, you too can aspire to greater things. If a kid like me who came to this country with no English can be me, so can you. I look forward to the great success stories that are about to be written in your lives as well as your generations to come. Canterbury Bankstown is great because of its people. 
So remember, each of you have much to give as well as to receive. So get involved in our local clubs and community organizations. Volunteer and become a part of Canterbury Bank Sound exciting community life. We now move to the official component of the citizenship ceremony. Thank you. I have a message of congratulations from the Minister for Immigration, Multicultural Affairs and Citizenship, the Honourable Andrew Giles, which read as follows. Thank you for deciding to become an Australian citizen. Today you join a nation that is one of the world's most successful multicultural societies, with around half of all Australians either born overseas or with at least one parent born overseas. In Australia, everyone can be proud of who they are and everyone should be respected, valued and feel a sense of belonging. We are privileged to share this beautiful country with the world's eldest continuing culture. This is a fundamental part of who we are. For more than 60,000 years, First Nations people have cared for country. Appreciating and understanding this truth, this is a vital part of what it means to be Australian. Australians are united by our shared commitment to democracy and the, law, the rule of the law and to freedom of speech, religion and association. Our diversity is our, our greatest strength and we prosper by embracing this. We believe in a society in which everyone is equal, regardless of their gender, faith or sexual orientation, age, ability, race, national or ethnic origin. Ours is the land of the fair go, in which respect and compassion underpin our care for each other and our willingness to reach out to those around us in times of need. By becoming Australian citizens, you make a commitment to those values and to contribute to our evolving Australian story. On behalf of the Australian government, heartfelt congratulations on becoming Australian citizens. Andrew Giles, Minister. Australian citizenship entails responsibilities and privileges and it is my duty to advise you that Australian citizenship represents full formal membership of the community of the Commonwealth of Australia. And Australian citizenship is a common bond involving reciprocal rights and obligations uniting all Australians while respecting their diversity and persons of whom Australian citizenship is conferred enjoy their right, these rights and undertake to accept those obligations by pledging loyalty to Australia and its people, by sharing their demographic, democratic beliefs and by respecting their rights and liberties and by upholding and obeying the laws of Australia. I will now ask those of you becoming Australian citizens and who wish to take the oath, that is those whose pledge cards include the words under God, to stand to take the Australian citizenship pledge. And I'll get you to repeat after me. From this time forward, under God, I pledge my loyalty to Australia and its people, whose democratic belief I share, whose rights and liberties I respect, and whose laws I will uphold and obey. Congratulations, you are now Australian citizens.
Please be seated. I will now ask those of you becoming Australian citizens and who wish to take the affirmation, that is those whose pledge cards do not include the words under God to stand to take the Australian citizenship pledge. Please repeat after me. From this time forward, I pledge my loyalty to Australia and its people whose democratic beliefs I share, whose rights and liberties I respect, and whose laws I will uphold and obey. Congratulations, you are now Australian citizens. I will now ask everyone to stand and join in singing the Australian National Anthem. concludes today's citizenship ceremony just one more thing please do not laminate your, certif your certificate uh, if you laminate it, it will become invalid so please do not laminate your certificates if you laminate it, it will become inv invalid and we will be doing some photos so if you do want a photo just I'll ask you to line up in a minute but before you do that I want to take a selfie with everyone so I want to ask everybody to stand up and wave the flags they have. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll move to the photos if you wish to take a photo.